how to add Instagram feed to Shopify store quick and easy. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you're going to be able to add your very own Instagram feed to your Shopify store in the easiest, most simplest ways possible. Okay, so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the whole idea and main gist of how this is going to work. Okay, so without further ado, let's get straight into this. So to start this off, let's actually discuss how will you add your Instagram feed to your Shopify. Most people, what they do is like there's three options for integrations. Okay, so the first method would be third party social plugins. So what's going to happen is that you can get an Instagram feed plugin from Meta that you can obviously search on the Shopify app store. So if we click on Shopify app store and we write Instagram, what that will do is it will give us the Facebook and Instagram Meta app. But the thing about that app is that you can go ahead and, you know, market the products that you have on Shopify on Meta or, you know, your Facebook and Instagram. But you can't really put your Instagram feed on your Shopify through that. Let's say even if I go ahead and write Instagram, you can see this is the most famous app on the Shopify app store. And it's going to give you the meta products, but it says bring your products to people on Facebook and Instagram. We don't really want that. So for our ease, we're going to go with Insta feed. So you can either go with this or you can go with this. These both are officially built for Shopify, but this would make more sense because it has more, you know, more uh, downloads and it says boost sales and trust with official Instagram shop feeds. So obviously you can go ahead and click on this and you can basically display custom shoppable Instagram feeds on your store. Like you can display your own as well, but you can even make them custom so you can convert your store visitors into actual customers. And uh, you can show different posts like photos, reels, videos in a grid or slider layout. So yeah, this is the first way that you could do this, uh, which is basically, as I told you, a third party plugin. So to add this third party plugin, what you're simply going to do is you're going to click on install. And uh, once you click on install, what's going to happen is it's going to take you to the install page. So I'm just going to click on install app and uh, yeah, things are going to be pretty good and easy from there. Now, as I told you, there are three methods. Okay. So, and this is the first method. The rest of the three methods are a bit on the difficult side. So to perform the integration of posts, you're going to have to do it manually and you're going to have to do it individually. So what you're going to do is obviously you're going to go to a single Instagram post, copy its embedded code and start embedding it into your Shopify store. I'm going to show you that as well. And then you can obviously do the third way by developing a custom code if you're tech savvy. Now I'm going to show you how you're going to do the second step. The third step, I'm not even sure of it myself because I'm not too much into code, but I will show you where you can code all of the programming if you're good at coding. OK, so first of all, here it says, welcome to Mint Studio Instafeed. Connect your Instagram account to start using Instafeed. So obviously we're going to go ahead and connect our Instagram. Then once you click on connect Instagram, it loads us in where it asks our authorization. OK, so let's say I'm going to go ahead and click on allow. And here it says, you know, profile info, media, it needs all of that. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and click on allow. And once you click on allow, it comes back to your uh, Shopify feed. And we're just going to wait for it to load up. And here you go. So it's loaded our feed in. And uh, as you can see, our feed looks, uh, you get a preview of your feed. You get a preview of uh, how things are. And uh, basically, you can add a feed title as well. So let's say I want to add a title into feed saying, um, let's say this feed had products on it, right? So I'm going to give it a title, new summer products. Okay. Or you can call it the new summer badge or whatever. Then there's post spacing. I'm going to keep a uh, small spacing between it, or you can obviously keep medium pacing if you want to on post click up. They can open a pop up or show product or go straight to Instagram. I'd keep it on open pop up or show product because if they go straight to Instagram, uh, that's a bit annoying even for me. Like even when that happens to me, that's pretty annoying. So I wouldn't want my users to be annoyed. Then moving on, there's a layout. 
would you want the layout in the squares or tiles now i would go with a slider because that just looks pretty cool and once you've done all of this you're going to click on save feed now once you click on save feed as you can see it's added it in a slider with the medium pacing between it and now you can add this to your theme so once we have obviously done that we're going to click on add to theme and what this will do is obviously we'll add this whole thing that we have into a shopify theme and then you can edit it around to you know actually see how it looks so here's my store to add it in my theme here you can see i have the insta feed app and there you go you have your feed right here and then to obviously open up products look at that you can open up products in the biggest way and uh, you can see the descriptions and all it's pretty it's pretty great it's pretty amazing stuff and then you can also add your custom code now this is exactly what i was talking about when it says developing custom code so you can add that custom code over here and the second step that i told you which was embedding okay how will you embed individual posts let me show you let's say i'm going to come over to instagram okay and you do have to make sure that the post is yours if it's someone else's you could be copyrighted pretty easily pretty simply and we don't want that do we so you're going to go over to your profile and uh, go over to any post you want to embed let's say i want to embed this post we're going to go over here and here it says embed okay and uh, i'm going to copy the embedded code right and we're just going to go ahead and paste this and as you paste this we're going to make sure that everything is normal and yeah it is so we're going to click on save and look at that it adds the whole embedded post into it as well so pretty cool right you can add your whole embedded post into your store just like this and uh, you know it looks pretty cool that you have your instagram feed going on and let me show you how it looks in live time okay i'm gonna exit out of the store and here you know i'm just gonna wait for it to save itself and once you do that Let's click on this option over here and here we come. So look at this. It's all pretty good to go. And you can actually do this post. So you can see that embedding a post and adding in a whole Instagram feed to your Shopify store, really easy, really simple. And uh, I would obviously much more prefer Insta feed because Insta feed is just much faster, much more reliable and much better. But you can use this code away as well. So, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you, and uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me, I am always available, and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guides for any type of videos that you demand, and uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family and uh, i hope you all have a great day so until next time i'll see you later and goodbye